In this video, we're going to take a look at layers in Photoshop and kind of see how they work, how you can add things and subtract things and move things around on your layers. So let's start with, let's open up a picture. So we're going to open and let me go here to my pictures. I picked out a couple for this video, stuck them right here in my working file. So let's open that picture. You'll notice, the first thing you'll notice is this layer comes in as layer background, it's locked. What I recommend, the very first thing you do so you don't mess up your original picture, is you just go ahead and drag that layer down here, and it's going to create a duplicate background copy. So now we're not messing with the original picture, we have this one we're going to mess with. Okay, with the background copy selected, if I were to paint on it, what I have now done is I have added pixels to this to background copy and uh, and that's permanent. We didn't want to do that, so I'm going to Command Z, undo that, and then I'm going to make me a new layer. Let's call it. We'll leave it layer one. You want to really name your layers, be something meaningful, and make sure it's selected. And now, if I wanted to draw on this, let's say I wanted to circle that sunset there. You'll notice I could turn that off. Not only can can I do that with it still selected, I can get my pointer tool and I can move it around. Now let's say I wanted to add a picture to this. We can go place, file, place, and we'll add that picture right there. I'm gonna place that one right there. You'll notice it created a new layer for that. I'm gonna hit enter to accept. And now with the pointer tool, I can move that around where I want. I can move it into my little thing that I drew or whatever. And there we have added a picture to a picture. So that's some of the simple things that you can do with a Photoshop layer. Now let's look at the stacking order of the layer. You'll notice here I have a puck, a blue puck is what I'm calling it. But if you look over here in my layers panel, I actually have a background layer and I have one, two, three, four, five pucks. They just all happen to be positioned on the same place. If I turn that one off, you get this one, this one, this one, this one. And of course, if I turn the background off, I get the, uh, the transparent layer there. So what I want to do is I want to turn all these on. First thing you'll notice that the stacking order is bottom to top. The topmost is the one you always see. Now let's say I wanted to move this one down up underneath. I could select the layer just like that. Put my pointer over here, even though it looks like the blue one's there, it's not. You're gonna pull down the you're gonna work with a layer that is selected. Now, let's say I wanted to move this one the red one to the top. I could select that layer again. I could put my pointer there. Let's say we'll put it right about there. And you'll notice if I, uh, what I just did right there is I control click the blue and it automatically selected that layer. And if you're on a Mac, it's command click. We can automatically select the red layer by control or command click, depending on what you're using. We can take, uh, we can grab the green one and we'll move it down again with the layer selected. And we can grab the purple one, we'll move it up. So you notice now the stacking order has changed by where we positioned. Now the stacking order remains the same in your layers panel, but we were able to reposition each one of these. We can reposition these anywhere. We can move that over there. I can uh, control click or command click if you're on a Mac, move that one there, move that one there. Or, if I want to, I can select it right here as well and move that one there. And this green one, we could just move it up some. But that is working with five different layers. Now, I made me a background layer, and I just simply filled it with white by selecting, making sure this was white, and selecting my bucket here, and uh, the paint bucket tool, and I just clicked on it, and it filled it with white so I could have a white background. And we can uh, reorder the layers by simply dragging them. We can make the yellow one appear by just dragging that, or the red one appear by just dragging that.
or the green one up here but just by dragging it to the top of the stack up there so that's another way to rearrange the stacking order just by rearranging the layers themselves and really you know just create you some shapes and create you some layers and mess around with it until you get used to how they work and that's all there is to uh, really working with layers in Photoshop and if you want more Photoshop videos or Illustrator tutorials excuse me uh, Dreamweaver WordPress you can visit my website www.skeeterz71.com